Hello everyone, and welcome to our Midas Pro Series webinar, where we'll be going over the setup and functionality of our latest iOS remote app, Mixtender 2. My name is Chase McKnight, and I'm a channel marketing specialist for the Music Group Professional Division. Today we'll be focusing on how to properly connect an iPad with a Pro Series console, enabling remote operation of the desk. This is great for users who may have a less than ideal front of house position, giving them the ability to walk around and modify their mix away from the console. We'll explain how IP addresses are assigned and lastly show you some of the rich features of Mixtender 2. To get started, grab your iPad and head over to the App Store and download Mixtender 2. Oh, in case we didn't mention, it's free. After the installation is complete, we'll now connect the wireless router to the console. The connections are simple. Using a standard Cat5 Ethernet cable, come out of the Ethernet control port on the Pro Series console and into any of the LAN ports on your router, say port 1. Do not connect to the internet port. Nothing catastrophic will happen, it just won't work. Go ahead and power on the router now. Now that the physical connections are made, we're ready to connect up the iPad. On the iPad, tap on Settings. Next, tap on Wi-Fi. Currently, we're on a residential internet providing network. We'll need to connect to our freshly set up router. Give it a few seconds, as it may take a while to appear within the viewable network list. Our testing router is a relatively inexpensive Netgear N200, which this unit happens to have a default name of Netgear 02. Once it appears on the list, tap to join. It will then prompt you for a password. The default password can usually be found on a sticker or even screen printed on the bottom or rear of the router. If you're having trouble finding it, check the paperwork included in the router's product box. As soon as we enter the password and press join, we can now see that we're connected to Netgear 02. Next, we need to find the router's IP address. To find this, tap on the I to the right of Netgear 02. This gives us access to more information about our connected network. Here we will find our router's IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. You can even see that our iPad's IP address is 192.168.1.2. Because we now know the router's default IP address, we can easily assign an IP address that's within its range. Since 192.168.1.2 is taken by the iPad, let's bump up the last octet to say 9, making our IP address 192.168.1.9. Please note that some routers have slightly different default IP addresses. Some other examples are 192.168.2.1 or even 10.0.0.1 which is what many Cisco brand routers default to. The same rule of thumb applies to these as well. Next, head back over to the console and navigate to Preferences, then General. Under the Configuration tab, you will see a section labeled Remote Control Server. Enter the IP address 192.168.1.9 and press Start. Once started, the console will begin transmitting data via the Control Ethernet port. Back on the iPad, open up Mixtender 2, and this is what you'll be presented with. Type in the same IP address, 192.168.1.9, and press Connect. We are now connected. The status bar up at the top will reflect this, and you'll even see metering if you have signal routed through the desk. This concludes part one of our Mixtender webinar. Be sure to check out part two, where we'll explore some of Mixtender 2's uses and functionality. Thanks for watching.